And it's Brandy Malloy. I'm excited to share some of my favorite holiday tips this season. Number one is give yourself permission to say no to all the things. We're getting invited to events and activities and so many things. Give yourself permission to just edit that down and only say yes to things that are exciting to you, that foster togetherness, so that you can actually be present at the party. Now, when I'm planning my holiday parties, my biggest staple is look for in-season ingredients that are available to you at the grocery store that are at the peak of their freshness. For me, it's all about Sunkissed Naval Oranges. They are sweet and delicious, and they're easy for incorporating flavor and nutrition into all your holiday recipes, and also just for easy snacking. I actually love to keep this 10 pound limited edition carton on hand for everything from cocktails to desserts. Um, my kiddos, they're four and two. I love to give them Sunkissed Navel Oranges for snacking. And also I love as a mom that they provide 90% of your daily vitamin C value. Some of my favorite recipes I have, this is my baked camembert cheese wreath with a sun-kissed navel orange and cranberry compote. I mean, this is such a crowd pleaser. Who doesn't love freshly baked bread and a gooey cheese? You take the piece of bread, you dip it in the cheese. I mean, people just flock to it. It's always a crowd pleaser. Over here, I have my orange maple spaghetti cupcakes. These are fun, they're cute. You can get the kiddos involved in the kitchen for those aspiring bakers. And then also my last one is about using the entire fruit. So my chocolate dipped candied peels are great because nothing goes to waste. Five ingredients, I boil the orange peels in water, sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. It just softens them up. Then I take these peels and I dip them halfway in chocolate. You can do dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. You could even add a little sea salt if you want. And then I just put them on a piece of parchment and let them cool. You can also pop them in the fridge to let them firm up a bit. When I gift them, I love to do something really simple. I'll put them in a little glass jar, add a festive little tie, add the top. And then I think my biggest hack is writing something, you know, writing a little a note, words of affirmation, take a couple minutes to really tell the recipient why you appreciate them. That's what they're gonna remember. It's, it's not what you gave them, it's how you made them feel. And also, I love to eat all of these recipes while I'm watching the holiday classic movie, Elf. And actually on December 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, myself along with at Lunchbox Dad, Bo Coffrin and Sunkiss, we will be hosting a Twitter viewing party of the classic holiday movie, Elf. I mean, that is definitely a staple in our house. <laughs> you can follow along actually by following us on Twitter um, and using the hashtag Sunkissed Elf Party just to join in on all the fun. For all of my recipes, kid-friendly activities, and more information about the Twitter viewing party, head over to sunkiss.com slash elf.